Today we're going to be reviewing the mop sink and how to properly install it. So here we have a typical setup of the mop sink and above the mop sink we have the faucet that will be installed and if you need to know how to install that I have a video on how to do that as well. So we are going to go into more detail on how to install that mop sink. Now just so you have a visual uh, we have the uh, starting product and then the finished product and you're going to start off with a pipe that's going to come out of the ground and we will be connecting to that pipe and usually when we install the mop sink it is in the framing stage um, but it can be installed after drywall has been put on the walls as well. So the one thing that you want to make sure is accurate is that the drain is sitting in the right position and in this situation and most situations the mop sink will be sitting at 12, 12 inches to the center of the drain in both directions so you want to make sure that the, the center is sitting right at 12 and the more accurate you are the easier it will be to install that mop sink so if it uh, if the if the drain is off you are going to have to use some some fittings to uh, move the pipe so that it's in the correct position uh, you can also uh, pull the pipe over a little bit but you don't want the pipe to be too much of at an angle otherwise it can cause issues when you want to go and install it and here we have our mop sink uh, we pulled it out of the box we have it all ready to go so just want to make sure that the uh, the top cover is taken off so that we can stick the drain inside the center for the drain. So one way you're going to ensure that your mop sink is going to be sealed properly as well as be able to slide together and fit well, uh, I like to use some plumber's grease. Uh, this allows the uh, rubber seal to be able to slide easily onto the pipe between the pipe and the uh, mop sink. So uh, if you're able to uh, get some of this grease and put it on there and it makes it much easier to connect it. And with that grease you're going to grease the inside of the uh, mop sink uh, area and on the left side here we have the picture of that cover being taken off so you're going to want to have that off so you can put that pipe in the middle and you are going to want to put grease on the rubber seal as well as the pipe and one thing i did not mention is that when you do cut your pipe uh, you don't want it to be too low because uh, you want to be able to put the mop sink on make sure everything fits and then mark where you need to cut the pipe down and then you can take the mop sink off and then cut the pipe so just make sure you don't cut it too low otherwise the rubber seal will have nothing to seal itself to so as you can see here the pipe is sticking out of the mop sink after we have put the mop sink on and you want to have that extra spacing so now we'll be able to mark the pipe and we will remove the mop sink and we'll cut that pipe. Now after you have cut your pipe with either a sawzall or some inside cutters, uh, you're going to want to install the rubber seal between the pipe and the sink. And sometimes that rubber seal has a hard time going in. So uh, some tricks and ways that you can uh, use to get that seal fitting in there is sometimes the pipe has a burr on the outside of the pipe and so you're going to want to scratch off the outer layer of the pipe and it will help for that rubber seal to be able to slide in between the sink and the pipe and you can also take a hammer and put it down the pipe and kind of torque the pipe in the proper direction because sometimes these the pipe is not in the exact position so it just needs to be moved a little bit and it might take a little bit of effort to push this rubber seal in 
but if you keep working at it, it will eventually press in. So just take your time and make sure that it's pushed in all the way so that it is well sealed. So here we have the rubber seal as it uh, should look, uh, as it's been pushed down all the way. And once you have that done, you can go ahead and put the drain cover over it, and you're almost close to being done. And here we have the finished product. Uh, when you do install it, you want to make sure that the mop sink is well pressed up against the corner and that it is sitting flat. If it does wobble, you can use a rubber shim to prevent it from wobbling. And then you will want to finish off by caulking down the mop sink. And that is how you properly install a mop sink.